Welcome to this presentation. I'm Dmitry Kinin. This is a lazy, man, a lazy man's guide to build your own Oracle ECM 11G environment. In a short afternoon, that shows you how to create a portable environment that you can put on your laptop or you can take with you of brand new Oracle ECM 11G, that new version that was released in June 2010 of this year. Uh, this is a lazy man guide and it should have been called the smart man's guide. I will. Uh, by, uh, by showing you the obvious mistakes and guiding you through all the common pitfalls I will help you to install it much much faster than everybody else was thinking possible and uh, you will save enough time by following this video that, that you can go play a few rounds of golf or maybe even more this presentation is brought to you by uh, the ECM solutions uh, ECM solution offer you the best value in Oracle ECM this is the only company I know about that offers full lifetime warranty meaning that uh, if uh, you find an, a problem in a custom code or a solution that delivered by ECM solutions five years or even ten years after the project is complete uh, we will still come and fix it for free if you find somebody who can uh, deliver a project at a better value uh, faster and uh, lower overall cost or who can provide uh, a better value in training I will personally buy you a new iPhone Let's go into this presentation. This pr uh, installation of uh, UCM 11G is split into the seven steps, and those are the logical steps that are actually correspond to more or less to the documentation. And uh, the first step would be download software and documentation. Uh, if uh, actually I'm explaining everything, but in case I will also show you how to get documentation for install and uh, everything else. Uh, you need to get ready for the installation we're going to be using the virtual machine uh, you can use VMware or Microsoft uh, virtual PC uh, we're going to be using the virtual PC because it's uh, smaller uh, memory footprint uh, takes less uh, space and it works a lot faster in, in a portable one user environment just uh, you know if you want to put it on a laptop and, and play with it and learn more about the UCM 11G and uh, next step would be configure the database then we'll install the WebLogic because uh, 11G is running on the WebLogic. It's a managed uh, server running within the WebLogic environment, uh, within the WebLogic domain. And we're going to install the UCM itself. Then we're going to create the domain in the WebLogic to run the content server. And then we're going to complete the installation and uh, complete uh, the post installation steps. We'll start the content server and, and I'll show you uh, how to enable the components, start and stop the content server let's get started uh, let's proceed to the first step and I'll show you how to uh, download software and documentation now that we have the software we need to get ready for the installation we need to configure a virtual machine uh, and uh, you need to download the VHD or build from scratch the virtual hard disk if you want to install uh, the Windows Server 2003 or 2008 from scratch uh, I actually offer you a lot better choice for this uh, you can just go to Google and uh, just search for you say download uh, SQL server 2000 VHD and uh, download details SQL server enterprise edition evaluation gives you six months uh, of uh, gives you a pre-configured hard drive is evaluation version of uh, SQL Server 2008 that expires in uh, six months and six months should be uh, sufficient 180 days here should be sufficient to uh, experiment with uh, install 11G and experiment with this if not uh, SQL Server 2008 also comes with Express Edition which is free and unlimited uh, the only limitation of Express Edition it just slightly reduced functionality which will not affect you when running Oracle ECM and uh, it limits to one CPU which is fine because uh, Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 only allows you to run on one CPU so you will not notice that either uh, just as in, the, uh, in my other video uh, for the previous version 10G R3 we're gonna be using Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 uh, and you can download that by just saying download virtual PC 
2007 and uh, that's that's what you need uh, this is the engine that you need to run the VHD uh, it's pretty easy it's really easy to use it comes with the console uh, you just need to do just say new a uh, new virtual machine wizard comes up uh, say create a virtual machine new virtual machine and um, just specify the location where you want it and uh, otherwise it's gonna be in my documents my virtual machines uh, you can pre-select say Windows 2000 server 2008 uh, you'll need to adjust the RAM for the UCM 11 g you need at least 2 gigs of RAM, so we will just say 2000 megabytes, uh, an existing virtual hard disk, and then you will pick up the, the VHD that you just downloaded from Microsoft, and you might want to enable undo disks, or you may, may not want to enable it. Uh, if you enable, uh, if you disable undo disks, you won't be able to go back but uh, it will work a little faster and will save you a little bit of disk space so you can pick up your uh, virtual hard disk I'm going to pick up their virtual hard disk for 11GR1 finish and I can start my virtual machine now this video has been brought to you by ECM Solutions ECM Solutions offer tailored, street tough uh, but at the same time very affordable Oracle ECM education we allow you to mix and match your topics to your task and the project at hand so you only pay for the information that you really need and not uh, paying for any fluff and filler material uh, you will we can also feed training to your schedule and uh, we can deliver it in chunks to minimize your uh, impact on your projects we have instructors who are hands-on and working on the real projects at the real time I'm actually uh, also delivering the training myself uh, for uh, some of the clients for our best accounts and we also offer you massive savings when compared to traditional training when you pay per person per day we only charge you for instructor's time so savings can be really significant you can contact us at contact at thank you for watching